Hello there and welcome to the latest episode of The Sound Files. Uh, I'm Stephen Brennan and these videos are kind of like uh, a way of, well, a way for me to teach you some of the basic ideas and concepts and things you can do with Reaper, which is a uh, a very cheap, very good and intuitive DAW, which is available uh, from reaper.fm for free on an evaluation license. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to show you this, this, I, this project here uh, and today I'm going to teach you about FX envelopes uh, and an envelope. Well, FX envelopes, volume envelopes, pan envelopes, all sorts of envelopes. Uh, now, an envelope is basically a parameter that you can apply to your track, uh, which which will allow you to adjust particular aspects of your track as you go along. So, for instance, a volume envelope allows you to adjust the volume of the track. I won't say in real time, but you'll be able to pick different places on the track and say, okay, I want the volume to be quite high here, quite low here, etc. It's a really, really useful little tool to be able to use because, I don't know, it kind of excites some tracks, I find. And it's kind of cool for having pan effects, you know, effects from having a sound go from the left ear to the right ear and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, let's get going. So this is uh, track one. Uh, exciting name, I know. But this is a piece of music that I composed for a play that I did the music for last year. And this video is... Uh, Attributed to the director of that play, who is Matthew Trico. So, it's kind of a blues type, very basic sound. And so forth. Okay, so that just goes on and on and on, just like a loop. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to add some envelopes to this track. Uh, maybe some pan envelopes, some volume envelopes, just some things to excite it or make it interesting. So without further ado, here we go. Uh, so I'm going to right click over here. Well, you can right click uh, on the track itself as well. So we, just, we could right click over here. And we're just going to go for envelopes. And we're going to go for a volume envelope first. Now this volume envelope, the purpose of this is that we can adjust the volume anywhere on the track uh, by using this little green line thing here. So the quick, the shortcut for adding points that you can edit is just shift click. So I'm going to shift click uh, here. I'm going to shift click uh, here. Oops, it is. And I'm also going to shift click uh, near the end somewhere. Okay, so let's say we want to kind of have it get louder about here, get louder to here, then maybe go down a bit, and then fade out completely near the end. That would look a bit like this. Okay, because as you can see, we're starting off with our zero decibels, and then we're increasing to plus 4.63 decibels and then we're going down to 0 decibels again and then we're fading out to minus 22.6 or well, we'll go to minus infinity sure uh, just to fade out to complete silence uh, now I'm going to actually lower the volume of the main track so uh, so it isn't too too loud ok here we go so it gets louder and louder and louder up to that point and then it gets quieter again and it's going to keep getting quieter until we get to the end of the track. So that's the idea behind a volume envelope. Uh, this is a really handy feature because, well, this allows us to real in real time alter the volume, uh, which is a, a thing you should be looking at doing quite a lot whenever you're making making your uh, making your music. Uh, so let's add let's add another let's add another envelope here. So I'm just going to go to the original track again, right click, envelopes. And this time I'm going to add an active pan envelope. And a pan envelope works, uh, I suppose, in a similar, similar kind of similar concept to the volume envelope. Uh, so let's say, let's let's, for instance, that you can see it says there envelope pan center. So let's move it up. Now it's saying it's going to be 70% uh, left, and if we move it down, then it's going to be uh, whatever percent right. So let's say we want this to move from the left ear to the right here. So let's move this up 100% left, add another point at the end. Uh, so I'm going to go, sorry, shift click, uh, right here. And now we've got another point, and I'm just going to bring it down, like so. So now we have this kind of gradient from 100% left to 100% right. So let's take a listen to that. Uh, and just to make it, just to make it clear what this actually does, I'm going to turn off the volume envelope so here we go. So you should be able to hear it gradually coming into the center. 
Uh, so here is Sandra coming up, and now we're moving over to the right again. Yeah, you get the idea. So that's a pan envelope. Uh, now the next one I'm going to look at is a bit more tricky. Uh, let's say, f uh, theoretically, we want to add some kind of FX to this track, be it reverb or EQ or compression or whatever. Um, and then we want we only want reverb or EQ or compression at particular points of that track. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the track FX, uh, and these are the free VST plugins that you get when you... Uh, when you install Reaper. Uh, so let's say we're, we're just going to go for something sort of easy. So we'll, we'll go for Reverb. Okay. Uh, so this is the Reverb plugin. Uh, really basic, but uh, it sounds alright now. So we're going to go for some Sweet Verbo, which is one of the presets. And what we want is we just, we're, we're going to we're going to add an FX envelope for this track. So I'm in my FX window. Uh, I've got my FX now uh, I've selected it and I've set up my my preset and I am going to go for parameter I'm going to go for FX parameter list and I'm going to go for show track envelope and in this in this particular example we're going to go for the uh, the bypass uh, envelope now the bypass envelope is a bit different to the volume and pan in that it's kind of an on off switch more so than an actual physical gradient uh, envelope. So whereas with volume you can have uh, one decibel and then an infinite amount of different intervals before you get to two decibels. Um, with this kind of with this bypass envelope, you've got bypass on or bypass off. But it'll give you a good idea on uh, on how it works. So we've added our bypass envelope, and at the moment bypass is turned off. So I'm just going to disable all. Uh, well, I've disabled all of our other envelopes and I'm just gonna let you hear the track with this sweet reverb uh, sound effect so it's probably gonna be quite reverby Okay, so that was ridiculously reverby. Uh, but let's say we let's say we like ridiculously reverby, and let's say we want ridiculously reverby to appear uh, at this point here, this uh, five one zero zero. So uh, I am going to create a new point here. So I'm just going to shift click. So shift click is a shortcut for creating points when you're dealing with envelopes, and if you want to delete them, it's alt click. Okay, so uh, here we go. So a bypass filter. Let me see. If you have bypass turned on, then your effect, well, this is bypassed basically. So you won't hear any reverb. So at the start, we're going to have our bypass turned up to 100%. And as you can see, when you turn it up, it just says beside it bypassed at such and such time. And let's move it over here. And after that, it's normal. Okay. So we got our bypass section over here, and we got our normal section that appears after that. So let's take a listen. So no reverb so far, this bypassed, and we're approaching the point where reverb comes in right about now. Okay, now in terms of production value, this piece isn't great. I mean, like, uh, the starting track didn't sound fantastic, it's just MIDI, uh, and then this kind of uh, bypass effects, this... this well, this this FX envelope that we've added makes it sound, if anything, worse. Uh, but the whole idea of this tutorial is just to let you know how to do this stuff, so you can go out and experiment with uh, with it yourself. You know, um, so you can well, you can you can do all sorts of things with this these reverb uh, the early not this reverb these FX envelope ideas. Like for instance, you can use it to fade in a MIDI track. Uh, I suppose that's kind of like a creative way of doing it. But if you wanted to fade in a MIDI track using FX envelopes, you'd have your FX instrument, your MIDI instrument, and uh, then you'd just use uh, an FX filter to fade it in, as you would fade in using a volume or, pa or a volume envelope. You know, so there's all sorts of things you can actually do with these envelopes, and they're really, really good fun to mess around with. Um, but yeah, I hope you, I hope this has been a beneficial tutorial for you and if you have any questions then just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching 
this video was recorded using Camtasia Studio, which is a, actually a fantastic piece of software. Uh, I can have my webcam down there in the bottom bottom right and have my screen capture going on everywhere else. So, and this has been uh, recording using Reaper. And if you want, I can also I'll also upload the track that I'm using here, uh, and it'll be available in the description section. So you can actually mess around with the track yourself and you know have some fun with it. So uh, I hope this has been informative. And again, any questions, just post below. Thank you very much.